Hello and welcome to a Strapon tutorial video. In this video I will show and explain some basic rebar reinforcement modeling steps. First we must define the view options so that the reinforcement will be visible inside the 3D model. We find all the related commands in the reinforcement step. We can define rebars using five different functions. Standard shape has a number of predefined rebar options, such as straight wire, stirrup, U-shape and L-shape. Different options are available when defining the reinforcement items, such as taking into account the reinforcement that is already present in the model. We can select the category that we wish the reinforcement to be a part of. These categories can be edited by the user in the settings administration function. We can further change the diameter of the rebars, the list of which can again be changed in the administration settings. The concrete cover is easily adjustable as well as an option to add hooks or change the length of rebar length. Drawn rebars are connected to the edges of 3D objects. By positioning the arrow, we can define which edge is the base of the rebar. If the edge is later changed, the rebar is automatically adjusted. After defining the rebar item, we must define its length field. Different options are again available here, all of which can be adjusted later. We enter the start and end distance of the length field and confirm by right clicking. By selecting the rebar, different options become available. We can change the concrete cover of any of the connected surfaces. Hooks can be easily added or modified. Also, the leg length can be changed. Using the copy function, the rebars can be easily copied from one surface to another. Let us now draw a stirrup in this column. By selecting the column beforehand, only the selected object will be visible when defining the rebar. The lane can be defined by defining the distance between the rebar items as a number of rebars or as a number of rebars and their distance. Also, the start and end distance of lane field can be defined here. Almost all of the values here can be input as positives or negative values, which changes the lane field accordingly. By double-clicking on the rebar items, a window with object data appears. Here we can also change some properties, such as diameter, layout quantities, layout distance, or the reinforcement category. We can also change the location of stirrup closure. And furthermore, we can change the rotation of rebar by selecting the Rotate Rebar option. Selecting the Maximum Delivery Length option, we can define the length of individual reinforcement and the overlap length. We can first define the percentage of bars that are overlapped at the same location. Selecting option 50%, we achieve that the overlap is assumed alternately. We can further define the bar length and overlap length by inputting the desired data in a simple table. Let us define a new wire rebar with its length field. 
when defining or editing the laying fields of rebars, different laying options are available. First is the area laying, where we define the number of areas, and using a table input, we can define the length of each area, bar spacing, and section spacing. Further options are available, including the option to ensure that lengths of rebars are unified inside the rebar subgroup. We can unify their length by defining a number of rebars inside a specific rebar group, or as a maximum length difference inside the group. The option Fixed Bending Length can also be selected. The rebar length is then fixed inside their area laying. Laying can also be defined as a bending shape, which changes the orientation of rebars, but it also cancels the area laying option. If the fixed bending length is selected now, the length is fixed for the whole lane. When defining an individual rebar shape, all the options from standard shape are also available here. Individual shape can be defined in almost any desired shape, as long as its bending points are related to a specific point on 3D object. The editing options that are available for standard shapes are also available for individual shape. We can change the concrete cover or easily add a hook. Leg length can also be adjusted. Three additional rebar input methods are also available. Laying field or free laying field commands can be defined for any standard rebar shape, but they must always be related to a specific surface. Free bending shape is used to define a rebar of any desired shape, but the rebar is consequently not editable by previously shown functions. Color representations of rebars in the cube model can be changed according to different criterions. Typical representation colors all the rebars with the same color. 
The only exception is the red color, which is used to warn the user that the maximum delivery length that was set by the administration is exceeded. Diameter representation changes the color according to rebar diameter, and the color can also be changed according to rebar positioning status, rebar item number, or rebar category.